whoever has the most things when he dies wins. <laughs> wins what? <laughs> The contest forever. <laughs> I didn't know I'm, I was in a contest. Yeah, I'm, well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've already won. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think I think we're all fighting for second place now. Yep. Born on a Christmas morning in 1937, Lonnie Hammergren has lived the gift of life to the fullest and collected everything along the way. What if I told you that I have found one of Nevada's most fascinating residents? I mean, he has tens of thousands of items in his house that you have to see. He's got a dinosaur, he's got a buffalo, he's got a big chili pepper. He's got the space shuttle in his driveway. And it's all courtesy of Dr. Lonnie Hammergan. A transplant from Harris, Minnesota, this eccentric neurosurgeon found in Las Vegas a home for himself and for everything else he needed to have. I've seen a lot of collections in my days. Yeah. But now I'm getting overwhelmed. You've got, <laughs> now, now you're blowing me away. What is this here? My stage. Of course. Yeah. Every man needs a stage. Of course. Where'd we you have, get it? Well, it's pieces and parts from everywhere. <laughs> because a big showboat was out on the Boulder Highway. And oh that gosh. piece came from the showboat. A lot of the rest of it didn't. It came from different things. But it, the little uh, place there, that was the valet booth. And that's where they parked cars from. So I got that first thing, and then later on, I negotiated and acquired the pieces of the showboat. And then uh, a lot of these, I used the same name, the Hammergan Home of Nevada History. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. One of Las Vegas's most famous residents, Hammergren built his first home here in 1969. As the collection grew, he acquired two adjacent properties, in 2017, Lonnie's original home went into foreclosure, forcing him to auction most of his items. But there is still plenty to see. When you buy these things, yeah. do you dicker with people or do you just say, I'm taking it? Oh, both ways. Both ways. Yeah, it depends how bad I want it. Uh huh. If I, if I want it, I'll dicker it until I get it. Yeah. Otherwise, if I say, oh, that's a little too rich for me, then I'll say, You'll move fine. On. Yeah, I say, call me back when your price goes down. And half of the time, the price will go down. I know a lot of this is curiosities, but a lot of this is really cool Nevada history. It is. It? It's Nevada and world history, just like the spacecraft down there. It's a piece of world history. It isn't just Nevada history. And, and don't you feel like you're doing something important by taking care of it? Well, you got I, I am. Somebody's got to take care of history. I live in the here and now. However, I'm looking at the future and say, oh, God, if I, could, if I, if I lived 100 years, I'd still want that. Huh. An estimated 10,000 items continue to tell his story. Every year on Nevada Day, Lonnie opens his home of Nevada history for public tours. Doctor, I want to talk about you and, and your relationship to Nevada. How much do you love it? I love it totally. Love it all. I noticed that as I'm walking through, there's things about space, but you also have signs about Nevada itself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that that's important to you? Oh, yeah, sure. See, I traveled all over Nevada when I was in the office, both the lieutenant governor, when I ran for governor. I, I traveled the whole state. And what did you, I'm interested, what did you learn about the state as you traveled through it? Of how big it was. Yeah. That's the unbelievable part, yeah. From being a NASA flight surgeon to one of Nevada's lieutenant governors, Dr. Hammergren has accumulated experiences in all arenas. The memories of a lifetime well spent continue to pile up in his 1,800 square foot home. I have a question for you. Yeah. You got anything interesting? <laughs> yeah. I got all kinds of good, fun, interesting things. See, and here's the model then of an Apollo spacecraft. So it all goes together. Oh, here's a car, the car that's telling you about. Okay, look at it, 56. Oh, that Lincoln, I like it. Yeah, uh-huh. And that. Russian stuff. And just a big old nasty snake. Here's Western butterflies, which I collect now, then. And if you take a look, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But here are the butterflies I collected 
when I was a little kid. Got and it. I remember mounting those and collecting you do? those. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. When I listen to you talk, you don't look back wistfully. You don't, you don't live with a lot of regrets, do you? Not at all, no. Uh, I can't think of really anything I've done that I've regretted. Do you think all this would be here if it wasn't for these butterflies? No. Nope. No? No. That's how I started. So, yeah, and then I realized as I was along the line, hey, that's sort of fun. You know what? You're fun. You're amazing. <laughs> and I don't have many regrets, and I certainly don't regret coming here today and talking with you. This has been incredible. I've heard so much about you, and you blew it away in spades. You just took it to another level. You are a super collector on steroids, and I, I just want to say thanks for letting us in today. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming. From planes, space shuttles, and roller coasters to a notorious paddle wheel and a sarcophagus with a purpose, Dr. Lonnie's home takes you on an overwhelming ride. You're left wondering about the places he's been, the things he's seen, and the meaning behind every little thing he has kept. This is the type of day that just leaves you breathless. I mean, everybody knows that when you travel the state of Nevada, you see these amazing landscapes. But today was a day when you're reminded that Nevada's best resource is its people and the stories they tell. <laughs>